Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. Welcome to a new video. So in this video, I am going to show you the time lapse of a drawing that I did a few months ago. There's already a real time video about the fur on here. So if you want to see that, I will put a link in the comments so you can watch that. And this will just be the time lapse of the whole drawing. So it took about 10 hours in total to make. And I sped it up to seven minutes, so it will be a fast one, but it's fun to watch. Um, so I like to vary a bit on my channel between uh, sped up time lapses and real time videos. So um, we have both of those in here for those who like to see both videos, both types of videos. So let's get started. I did this drawing with colored pencil and pastel pencil on pastel mat. So the background is done with Stabilo pastel pencils and the leopard itself it's, is done with polychromos. So polychromos only. Normally I also use Caran d'Ache um, in my colored pencil drawings, a white one especially to blend, but it didn't really work on this. On pastel matte it didn't work. I liked the polychromos alone way better. So I just use polychromos. And then the pastel mat is dark gray, if I'm right. Yeah, dark gray, maybe brown, I'm not sure anymore. Um, and it's about 10 by 12 inches. So I started off with the background. I filled in the basic colors that I saw. The background is very blurry, so I tried to make it as undetailed as possible. And I used quite neutral colors as well, because I really wanted the leopard to pop. And um, the fun thing about combining pastel pencils and colored pencils like this is that you can make very easy blurry backgrounds with pastels. And colored pencils are very suitable for de detailed drawings. So you can create a really nice contrast between the, the details in the drawing and the out of focus parts. So that's why I combined pastels and colored pencil here. I could have done the background with colored pencils as well, but then I was then I would be spending like double the time on it Probably 20 hours instead of 10. So yeah Pastels are just way quicker All right, so then I started on the eyes the eyes I tried to make a bit more open and a bit lighter and a bit more expressive than the ones on the um, reference photo. He's looking quite dorky actually on the reference photo and I wanted to make him look a bit more smart or human-like even, maybe. And then after doing the eyes, I started with the fur. So the full 10 hour tutorial of it is available on Patreon for all members. So even if you joined for $1 or two, you can have access to this one. So this might be a really fun one to start or to do if you don't have a large budget, but still uh, want to have access to one of the tutorials. So there is a link in the description to my Patreon for those who'd like a bit more info or if you want to join. All right, so if you look at the reference, you see that there are actually loads of different colors in the fur. It's not just a gray leopard. There are so many different color colors in there. I used um, yellows, I used a bit of orange, lots of blues, purples, and browns. So I didn't use a lot of black, I didn't use a lot of gray either. either. So um, there are loads of different colors in there to create nice depth in the fur. Also, because the background has so much blue in it, it's a snowy background, it will reflect uh, on the fur. So that's why you will see blue on the fur as well. The fur I built up mainly from light to dark, although it is possible to uh, work with light on dark on pastel matte. So I did that for the final layers if I wanted to add any light hairs on top of the fur to make it more dense looking. S but I did work from light to dark mainly, so I had a bit more control over the, the process. 
then the whiskers I could draw on top of the fur that I had already drawn. So that was quite nice that I could just pick a white and draw the whiskers on top. And there were some black whiskers as well. And then finally I added some fireflies because I always like to add fireflies when I do originals. I just like how that looks. And after that the drawing was finished. So I hope you like it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel. And thanks for watching.